Hello everybody and welcome to the Windac. In today's video I'm going to show you one of those little but sometimes also quite useful features Microsoft has integrated into Windows 10 with the Creators Update and that's the on-screen touchpad. So if you want to know how you can activate and access this feature you want to stay tuned. So see you after the intro. So in order to activate the on-screen touchpad, you can just right click on your taskbar and if you don't have a mouse or keyboard with an integrated touchpad available to you right now, which might very well be the case because you want to actually activate the on-screen touchpad, um, you can just click and press and hold with your finger on the taskbar to sort of replicate that right click. And then you're gonna find this command show touchpad button which you wanna activate. Um, and if you do that, you're gonna find a new icon in your taskbar which says touchpad. And now whenever you need it, you can just click on it and then you've got your on-screen touchpad directly available to you for use. And of course you can just easily drag and drop this so you can place it wherever you want on the screen so it doesn't hide anything, um, any of your content. And as you might have already noticed, um, there are two integrated mouse buttons here so you can just use them to either right or left click on the object you want to interact with. And the really, really cool thing about this on-screen touchpad is that it actually supports all the important Windows 10 touchpad gestures. So you can, for instance, just tap on your screen using four fingers to open the action center. Or you could use the three finger swipe gesture to um, switch between the open opened apps and programs and also just easily close them with the on-screen touchpad. And now you might ask yourself, um, why would I even need an on-screen touchpad? I mean, I've got my touchscreen and then I can just easily interact with my device using finger input. And I would totally agree, but you might find yourself in a position where you use a program which might not scale properly or might not scale that well with your high-res screen. And then it might actually be easier to navigate through, um, well, menus with submenus and so on, it might actually be just more comfortable to use that um, or to interact with the program using the on-screen touchpad. And now of course you could also um, argue that if your touchpad um, on the keyboard doesn't support those Windows 10 touchpad gestures, you just might want to use the on-screen um, touchpad because it does support those gestures, but of course, I think that's not really a, well, a use case scenario many of you would actually, well, live in, so to speak. And there's something you um, have to keep in mind, which I should have probably told you at the beginning of the video, and I'm really, really sorry that I didn't do that before, but of course you can only activate this touchpad um, by right clicking on your taskbar or actually this button if your device actually has a touchscreen because otherwise Microsoft of course rightly believes that there is no use for such a touchpad. So that's it on how you can activate and use um, this on-screen touchpad and now if you want to get rid of that button again you just um, easily deactivate that command here right again and you can activate 
it reactivated whenever you want it by once again right clicking on the taskbar. So that's it for this short video about the on-screen touchpad on how to use it, activate it and access it. And I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you liked this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It would be really, really appreciated. And of course, also subscribe to the channel if you want to um, see more videos about Windows 10, Microsoft and other related products um, to Microsoft and Windows. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time.